I just want to show you some of the new things that we have uh, implemented in the terrain mixer and I won't go through all of it but I just want to show you how much more power you now have uh, for creating terrain so let's first start with something that is not so obvious and that is the uh, that is the fact that you now have uh, two sources of the two height maps uh, with every input and you already know you have like four inputs but the, the difference is that before you had four maps now you have eight maps that you can combine so how do you check that so what you have to do is go to the C slider combine all of the input slide it all the way to zero and then go to the A slider which combines or mixes the uh, first two inputs and go all the way to the zero the input one but as I mentioned the input one actually has two sources which you can combine and you do that by going to the switch you see these four rows that say switch one switch two switch three switch four so when you go to the switch one you're switching between the two inputs you see that's pretty cute and uh, also, you, what you might notice that uh, wasn't here before is the blend option. Now this means that you're actually blending the way that you're blending between the first two inputs. For example, create this value so we can blend between the first two inputs, input one and two, input one and two, and here we can change the blending type you see so it's similar as in Photoshop or you know any other application but this affects the rain a lot so I think that even if you would just stay playing between inputs 1 and 2 you would get a lot more power than in previous version but that's not all now look at this if I scroll down all the way to the to the row where it says scale one mirror and subtractor one now check what check what uh, this will do if I scroll to the right I mirrored the terrain on X and Y axis and of course this is not just for mirroring you can go you know and choose some uh, value between you know which totally changes the terrain as you can see and there's this one other thing that uh, I have added and that's the subtractor so what you do with it uh, use it carefully it's not for realistic terrains but if you're doing something you know alienish uh, this might help because it's kind of it mirrors on the z-axis and you get this really weird looking facts you see it can work I think oh what else let's see uh, if you haven't noticed uh, before in the previous version uh, you also you can also clip the terrain from the bottom and the top inside the 3d viewport with this uh, properties menu so what you can do is go here just let me slide this back to zero because you see it better like this so what you can do is you can go here input one clip one bottom and slide it to the right you see and input one clip one top slide it to the left you see which, how the terrain is uh, kind of clipping and of course if you blend this a bit more for example with the inputs three and four and we do this with the C slider 
we can get even better result. Also, what you can do is uh, you can rotate uh, any of the inputs. So, for example, if we go to the rotate uh, one, and of course, if, if this bothers you, you can always scale. So, so you can see that with just these few sliders, uh, you can really make unlimited variations of your terrain, and we're only we're only playing with the two uh, height maps, and you have six more of them to combine. So, yeah, have fun, and I really hope that you'll enjoy this uh, version that should be up in. 48 hours available for download uh, so yeah until then play with the previous one uh, cheers